uh, work at Netsmart Technologies as a systems engineer as well as kind of like an automation engineer. I lead a lot of, of our DevOps operations or initiatives uh, as well as lead all, all of our automation efforts uh, within Netsmart. We've been using Puppet for two and a half years. So we went straight for enterprise just because this is a very small team. It's me and two other people that are doing puppet or automation related things. So when something breaks, I, I do need someone to lean on because I don't have a team of 50 people to, to help you know, with an open source stack like that. So we started at zero nodes and we've grown up to just under 1600 and we plan on going to a total of 6,000 nodes at this point. It's to the point where, you know, when it doesn't work, because sometimes things do break down sometimes, uh, there's a lot of moving pieces, but when that one little piece doesn't work correctly, you know, we have 8,000 people asking us, hey, what happened, what happened, because everyone's just used to it working that way now. So it's been very beneficial to the company. And we're under 30 minutes at this point for an actual run, end-to-end -end run time of what, what, what we're accomplishing. So we're still very new with it. Um, it's a huge culture shift. Netsmart's been around for, I think, about 30 years now, and all of our apps are mostly monolithic. Um, so it's taken a very long time to get people more involved with all of the automation work that we're trying to do. Um, but mostly right now, it's just trying to get people to talk uh, between operations and dev, just that first step of having a conversation with two people and trying to you know, work on something together. So that, that's where we're at right now. So I'm actually a part of the tab with Puppet. And one of the cool things was we talked about tasks or running some kind of ad hoc workflow. And to see that essentially four months later, or not, not even, I don't even know what it was, but to see that four months later and I can basically use it now was really cool because that's going to you know change how we do certain things because we were using a specific open source tool to do certain things. Uh, and we no longer need to use that tool. It's all ingrained in one ecosystem. So some of our applications were rewriting from scratch and we're going to more of a microservices containerized architecture. Um, and with that, we're considering moving some of that stuff to AWS or Google Cloud or any one of them. I think Puppet support was, I guess, more surprising in a way. Um, it's a smaller company, so you would expect a company, well, I don't want to name actual company names, but I think everyone knows the terrible support from certain large companies. And Puppet support has been outstanding. We've run into very few issues, but the issues that we did run into were taken care of very, very quickly, including fairly major bugs in the actual product itself that were taken care of within a couple days.